It's beer and food o'clock again on Real Ale Craft Beer and we're going to be pairing another beer from the German beer box in Lidl. It's the £25 for 10 beers, that makes it £2.50 a bottle. I think it's fantastic value for money. We've turned the grill on today because I'm going to do a bit of a beer and food pairing for you. I am always out there to challenge myself really. If it was just me personally, like not pushing myself, I would eat pizza every day, or I would eat chips every day, or I would eat chips with curry sauce every day, you know, that sort of kind of like very comfortable daily grind thing. That's what I'm all about. So I really like to push the boundaries of, of, of kind of like what I will eat and what I will learn, because I think the whole of life is one big learning experience, isn't it? So. What I'm trying to say here is, if it wasn't for the beer, and if it wasn't for this beer review, I probably wouldn't have bought these sausages. These are Case Craner Emmental Cheese Stuff Smoked Pork and Beef Sausages, 340 grams. I've done my, oh it says here, um, Emmental Cheese Stuff Cooked and Smoked Pork and Beef Sausage. So they're already cooked, but I had to do a little bit of Googling because I didn't read the cook bit on the back. I've got the grill out. I'm going to put them on the grill. I fancy them warm here today. So I've never had anything like this before. Uh, a cheese kind of... Oh, look. Look at this. We're going to whack that on the grill. And today's beer is Hohenhanner Schloss Browery Marsenfest beer. So everybody's having a good time. There's a, a circus there in the background. The beer is 5.6% ABV. It will hopefully, being a Marzen, be slightly darker. They'll have a lot, slightly darker malts in there. So I, I haven't really got to cook this for long, really. I suppose I'm going to give it a damn good cook in though. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave this now for maybe... 10, 15 minutes, I'll turn it and I'll come back and we'll pour the beer and we'll eat some of this sausage. Right, this sausage is nearly done. We're actually losing a little bit of the cheese. You can just see the cheese oozing out the side of the sausage. So, I'm gonna give it one more turn. And it's only, it's only really cooking the top and tail that the sausage is a bit like a horseshoe. Uh, while that's cooking the top and tail, let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. So, I have had beers from this brewery before, albeit not for a few years. Certainly not had their fast beer. But yeah, it's, this is pouring perfectly, or, or should I say the colour? It's looking perfect. It's looking like I was an, I was imagining it was gonna look like it's that kind of lovely darker amber coloured beer. We got a two finger, slightly off white head. Good levels of carbonation. As the beer rolls up the glass, there the carbonation rolls up the glass. It doesn't look to be a bottle conditioned beers. A lot of the German lagers, of course, being lager, it's not gonna be bottle conditioned. This beer, 5.6% ABV, £2.50 a bottle in Lidl. But you've got to find the box. The box is, I understand that they've restocked the box in some of the stores. So if you can get it, go and get it. It's really good value for money. Lovely, light, crisp, malt. But then a bit of biscuitiness and a bit of breadiness coming through. A little bit of spicy, peppery kind of stinging nettle aromas from the hops. Yeah, it smells really good. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh. That is fantastic. 
fantastic, fantastic Mars and Vespia. Beautifully balanced between that lovely biscuit malt flavour. It's got a fantastic mouthfeel. Carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth, releases more of that flavour. Oh, it's terrific. And then the balance going over to that kind of from being kind of biscuity and sweet over here to being nice and kind of stinging metal, peppery, spicy kind of hoppiness. It gives it a beautiful balance between sweetness and bitterness. Fantastic beer. Right. As always, we don't have enough utensils in the in the old bar. Look at that, you can see. You can see the cheese dripping out of the side of this sausage. I found my receipt as well. So the sausage cost, uh, Case Kreiner sausage was £2.49. There's all the bits of kind of lovely cheese that we're going to add to the sausage there. We don't want to lose any of that. Okay, so that can get switched off. Job done, that can cool down. Let's, uh, well, I'm gonna have to burn my fingers again. I'm gonna have to hold the sausage. Look at this. Look at this, look at that. Look at that cheese running through the middle. It looks really good. Now, I know I mentioned earlier on about kind of like being in a comfort zone and like, I do like trying new things. I wouldn't try 9,000 different beers or 10,000 different beers if I didn't like trying new things. It's just, with food and me, um, of course I like trying loads of different foods, but I always settle back into kind of like eating the regular old stuff. I think there's a lot of us out there that, that are the same. So when you see stuff like this in Lidl, these Alpenfest things, they, they may not look absolutely wonderful on the shelf because it's cooked sausage wrapped up in plastic. But when, you, when you're able to get it home and look at that now, I'm so glad I picked it up. Cheese and sausage. Oh. Oh, oh, that is bliss. Mmm. So it's that that thick skin on the sausage, a bit like one of those traditional German Frankfurters. Mmm. But the meat's really good. The pork's really good. The beef's really good. It's lovely and salty. The cheese, the yeah, mental cheese. Bursts out and it kind of burst out all over my lips. It was a bit hot. But there's lots of cheese in the sausage. It's it's incredibly tasty. Look at this. Look at this cheese. The dog's going nuts down here. I can hear him kind of doing all sorts of weird things with his mouth. <laughs> He's desperate for some. Oh, That is just the most unusual but good sausage I think I've ever eaten in my life. I'm going to cook one of those for my wife when she gets in from work. She'll love it. Try the kids with it as well. But how does it go with the beer? I think we already know the answer, don't we? Really good sausage, cheese filled German sausage with fantastic kind of German Mars and beer. Makes me want to go and pack my suitcase. Bye Wales. <laughs> I'm off to Germany forever. I'm not coming back. <laughs> um, 
just tremendous. The quality. I just love the... I mean, you have your own ideas in your mind how lifestyles are, don't you? With, with kind of like German people. And my idea of like German family, German people in general, is that they just enjoy a lot of the food... It's been, it's almost like it's been kind of built around beer. Everything seems to fit with beer. The sausages fit really well with the beer. The beer's fantastic to begin with. It's biscuity and bready and lovely. You just want to drink pint after pint after pint of it. it it's like no nonsense. You know, like you, so you get other countries, don't you? Other cultures. Let's, let's look at France and Italy. France and Italy, I don't think I'd want to live there because it's all about eating a ton of food and at least that's what my Italian family tell me. It's all about meal after meal and literally like tapas in it all kind of night long type of thing and, and not really enjoying a few beers. Whereas, whereas German culture fits really well with my culture and that is I want a few beers and I want to eat cheese sausage. And it's easy, it's easy, it's simple, no nonsense, but it does the job. It does the job. It feel, it's like the ultimate beer snack country, pretzels, sausage, oh, them dumplings we did the other week. Mmm. I'm not normally a, a massive fan of this kind of German style sausage. I don't normally like the thick casing, the crunchy casing, but I think it's the cheese. I just think it's the cheese that's just made this work. It's just dripping with this Emmental cheese. Let's see if the dog likes it. He definitely does. He's gone, he's run away with it. <laughs> that is one of the finest sausages I've ever eaten in my life. He's already back for more. The beer, the beer is incredible. Biscuity, bready, toasty malts coming through. Bitterness, stinging nettle. Spicy, peppery bitterness on the back end. Incredibly drinkable. Incredibly, incredibly What's the word I'm looking for? Just I want to drink another pint of it. The mouthfeel is incredible. The taste is incredible. I'm having a whale of a time. I'm, I'm, I'm having an absolute whale of a time, yeah? I think I just exploded cheese all over my mouth. Absolutely wonderful. That, for me, yeah. I'm going to come out and say it. I'm going to come out and say it. Of all the beer and food pairings I've ever done on this channel, this has, by a million miles, been the best pairing ever on the channel. This has been the ultimate pairing. I love myself a darker lager anyway. Love these Mazens stroke almost like kind of like Vienna lager style beers. Love these. That sausage put it off. I put it off. I, I left it in the fridge door. I was like, oh, they look a bit dodgy. Put it off, put it off, put it off. I thought, right, now's the time. We're running out of beer. We're running out of that 10-box pack. I, I'm going to have to do it. 
and I bit the bullet, got on with it, and it turns out they are just the most amazing things in the world. Um, so rating then, the Hohenhanna Schlossbury Mars and Fespia is terrific, absolutely terrific, it really is. Um, I like that enough to give it a Stone the Crows 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. But this sausage, this sausage is just the bee's knees. It's just, just, just absolutely terrific. The best sausage I've ever eaten in my life. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 for the sausage. I hope you liked the video. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom, cheers.